Hello, this video is going to demonstrate how you can use filters in Google Sheets. Filters provide some additional functionality over data sorting. Again with filters, before I can filter I need to select the data that I'd like to filter. So I could highlight certain columns and then I could hit the filter button or again just like with data sorting I can click this area in the spreadsheet and it would select all of the columns. So once I have the data selected, I can filter by either selecting data and filter. And you can see it also has filter views, we'll talk about those later, and a few other options. Or there is a button for filtering right there. So when I click that filter on, you'll see by each column it adds these little arrows. I access those to do the filtering. So for example, here I have different t-shirt sizes. What filtering does is it hides data so you only see the data that you want. So let's say I want to see only size large t-shirts. So I've highlighted all of my data, I've turned on the filter view. Now if I go to this column and I select it, here it has the different options that are in that column. So I'm just going to clear, because right now it's showing all of them, it has a little check mark next to it. I'm going to hit clear and I'm just going to select large. Now when I hit OK, it filters out all of the other data except for those that have size large. I could do additional filters as well. Uh, I could go over here, I could filter, clear all, only show me uh, people that have size large and colon, so I'll hit OK, and then it will filter it further. So I'm going to turn all of that back on. So here I have my filter. One of the options I can do with my filter is I can save this as a view. Now the benefit of that is if someone else was viewing this spreadsheet right now, they would be seeing exactly what I'm seeing. They'd see the filtered view where it would only be showing size large. If I click Save, uh, as a new filter view, I'm going to click that right here. I can go in and name it. So I'm going to name it size large. And then save it. Now that has been saved as a filter view. So I'm going to just click off the filter. And if I click on this again, it turns off the filter. Now you'll see all of my data has come back. Uh, the benefit of using a filter view is filter views are an individual thing. So now that I have this data, here's my filter view size large. If I click on that, it takes me right back in, but now only I'm seeing this view. Someone else who's in this spreadsheet could be creating a different filter view. They could be manipulating the data how they need to without it affecting the spreadsheet for me. So that's the benefit of using filter views uh, as opposed to just filtering it yourself or using data sorting. Uh, using filter views allows you to manipulate the data uh, only on your end without affecting the data on other people's view as well. With your filter view, you do have some options. If I click on the little drop-down box, you'll see I can turn off the filter view. Uh, filter view options, I can rename it, update the range that it's looking at, uh, duplicate it, or delete it. You know, again, all of your information is still there. If I click here and turn off this filter view, all of my information is still there. Filters just help you hide the information you don't want to look at. This can be useful if you want to count things. So if I turn on this filter and I say only show me, I'm going to clear these values, only show me the size large and I hit OK. Now I can just click and drag here and in the spreadsheet down here you'll notice it says count 9. So I know within just a few clicks without having to do a lot of counting that I have 9 size large shirts. There are some other options for when you do filter. You can do sorting here where I just sort A to Z or Z to A. Uh, you can also filter by condition. So you'll see here if I click none, 
uh, text starts with, text ends with, or exactly. I can filter by date. If there's numbers greater than, equal to, less than, I can do a custom formula. So there's lots of different options for filtering by condition as well. So that's a brief intro of filtering uh, in Google Sheets. Uh, there's lots of options and, and lots of different ways you could filter depending upon your needs. Uh, so check it out, and if you have any questions, just let us know. Thanks, and have a great day.